Now the first step to making your volcano is getting the materials. Now I encourage you to go online, look up all the different structures and ways that you can build your volcano, but I chose for mine chicken wire and a paper towel roll. There's other ways to do it, you're more than welcome to, but these are supplies I use. The second step is the structure. Once you get your chicken wire, cut it to the appropriate size. You don't want to cut too much, make it a little bit less than the size of your board. After you've cut your chicken wire, you can begin to mold and shape it. You just want to get the general shape of your volcano, nothing too specific. Once that's in place, you can start stapling. Staple it to your uh, cup or your paper towel roll, whatever you're using, then staple it also to your board. Cut off the little end pieces so nothing's hanging over. Then do any last minute touch ups and reshaping. Step three is working with the paper mache. Now as you see, I have a mixture of glue and water that I'm dipping it into. Wipe off any extra because you don't want the strip of newspaper to be soaking wet when you lay it down. Once you've got them all on, you're going to want to let it dry for a few hours. Next comes the painting. Now you can paint your volcano any realistic color, but I chose gray for mine. Lastly, be creative. I chose to make my volcano erupting with lava coming out one side. I also added a little moss on the bottom to give it some texture. And there we go. Now you're going to notice I put a plastic cup on top of mine. That's for convenience for me. I'm going to be using this as a model for a while. And it's easier to clean it out and uh, refill it if it's removable. But I expect yours to be built in the area that holds the baking soda and the vinegar. So you can do that a number of ways. Uh, put duct tape all on the inside. Or you can just make the center part out of a plastic bottle.